We developed Thermographic Phosphor Digital Image Correlation, or TPDIC. It's a diagnostic technique that allows us to track an object and see how it responds during a test. TPDIC works by combining thermographic phosphors with digital image correlation. Phosphors are ceramic materials, but they're doped with an activator ion that responds to light. We excite them with light and they provide light back to us and that gives us our temperature information while the digital image correlation tracks the pattern and provides us a strain measurement. We provide a user a time-resolved 2D image of their test object going through an environment so that they can understand how the test affects it and how the object is responding. So conventionally thermographic phosphors are deposited using paint or an epoxy and while that's an effective method uh, some of the drawbacks are you can deposit a coating that is too thick or it's uneven or you have poor adhesion but the biggest drawback is that you have to include a binder and the problem with a binder is it burns off at higher temperatures which means that your coating would fall off and that's the benefit of using aerosol deposition which is a kinetic spray process and that allows us to deposit these phosphors at room temperature without a binder increasing the temperature range that we can probe. As long as we can see enough light coming off of the phosphor material, we can make a measurement. Thermal phosphor digital image correlation has a lot of applications, all the way from research and development, where we just want to understand how a material coupon deforms and heats up as we insult it with mechanical or thermal loads. But then also on industry side, where we want to uh, evaluate, for instance, the crashworthiness of a car and see how it deforms and heats up in a crash or an airplane wing where we need to understand how it's heating and deforming during flight, and then also all the way to spent nuclear fuel containers where we want to be able to monitor them and make sure they're not heating up and overpressurizing. So what's incredible about TPDIC is its tunability to the application where it's needed. So we can adjust the link scale to be under a microscope to a rocket nose cone. We can work from cryogenic temperatures up to flame temperatures and we can capture dynamic behavior. So we can look at tests that happen on the order of hours and see what's happening, but we can also capture phenomena that happen in the blink of an eye. The most common method of doing simultaneous strain and temperature measurements is to use an infrared camera for the temperature measurements. But infrared cameras or IR cameras are 100 times more costly than optical cameras. So with thermal phosphor DIC, we only need two optical cameras, so that makes the equipment requirements a lot less, and in a lot of ways, the data we get from phosphors is better temperature measurements than we get from an IR camera. There's a direct path for transferring the technology to commercial software. So there's already commercial digital image correlation software that uses the infrared technology right now, but we can just replace that with the thermal phosphor temperature measurements and get thermal phosphor DIC out to the world where it's needed. We're really proud of the diagnostic that we've been able to develop, and our next steps are to push it to more dynamic behavior, to harsher environments, and to continue to support Sandia's needs.